Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you a very exciting Tech Tip Tuesday that we get to play in, with Polyline Solids now uh, much easier in Chief Architect Premier version X12. Let's get started. I'm super excited about this uh, option here because in because of this case right here in uh, garages. Typically, what I would do is take a section and draw a garage, uh, particularly because I like to slope my garage floors, and I'd like to slope that you know up, say, an eighth inch per foot or a quarter inch per foot. Uh, and I would have to draw this in uh, sec side section at uh, one eighth per foot. I still will have to do this, but uh, you'll see the difference here. I'm going to do pitch, change the numbers to pitch, and um, or I I would have to I could do the math if I wanted. Um, I'm going to do one eighth start point da, 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 like that. It's going to flip it just like that, like it typically does. And there we go. And then I would draw a, um, a polyline rectangle here, uh, make this a closed polyline, and extrude that over the width of the garage. And that would that would be the shape. I couldn't change it unless I was in a side angle. Um, uh, uh, elevation view looking at the same side that I drew the polyline solid in. Now with version X12 that that changes. I'm going to first of all uh, I want to find out the um, floor height. Floors at minus 96 so I'm going to go back down to my uh, foundation plan and do my uh, I could do I could do it a couple ways I could just do a polyline solid, a slab, or a polyline solid. I'm just going to do the polyline solid here and drag that right there to the extents corners of the uh, interior corners of the foundation plan. I'm going to open that and give it four inches thick, and the top is at minus 96. Now I'm going to pull this over so I do see the edge of the um, uh, let's make sure that layer's turned on, right? I need that to be in a different floor other than CAD CD plan. Uh, so let's go to CAD default, which that should be the yeah, default layer anyway, so that I see it here in this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go to working plan view. Make sure I'm at, oh, absolute, not from finish floor. There we go. There. Now, I created, I drew this in plan view. Before X12, I couldn't change the shape except uh, unless I was in plan view. Now, I can be in any elevation view, plan view, etc., and change the shape of this polyline solid. So, in the elevation view, I've looked at this, I'm looking at the side of the um, the side of the slab, I'm just going to grab this corner. I selected that slab and I'm going to grab this corner and pull it up to my construction line. I'm going to delete that construction line. There we go. Go back to plan view and I'm going to extrude this out over here. Now you can see that it is sloped from 
end to end, from, from front back to front. Now, in this view, or top view, I could pull it back like I typically could. And I'm going to delete this surface of the garage slab so that we can see the edge of that slab. Now, here's what I'm talking about. I can grab this edge of the side edge of the slab, not just the top edge, the side edge of the slab, and I can adjust that anyway. I could make it like this if I wanted. I could make a like a pyramid. We've never been able to do a pyramid that easily. I'm going to undo and go back and pull this over. So now in my 3D elevations, in my sections, etc., etc., it all looks proper. I'm going to switch to this. Uh, bear with me for a second and we'll play around, okay? All right, so here we've got this um, slab. I'll show you, show you quickly. I've just created a cube, 30 inches by 30 inches by 30 inches. Let's say I want to make something really whack out of it. So I've taken an elevation from the si right side and from the top side, and I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to pull this side up. This is, this is my right side. Let's pull that up uh, 18 inches. These are 15 inches. So in uh, my three-dimensional view here, you see the right side has been lifted 15 inches on the back. Now, let's take the Let's take this corner and pull it back down. And now I've got this awesome looking like obelisk. We've never been able to do that before. Now watch this. In 3D view, I can select this. And right down here, I can ha add a hole or an extrusion. And I'm going to draw right in the 3D view Now, as I draw that elevation, that, that um, uh, what do you call it, square, that rectangle, can you see the temporary lines right here on the screen? I can pull it forward and make an extrusion. I can pull it, I can move it backward and make it a hole all the way through. Now, I can only do that on flat surfaces, perpendicular to the surface. I can't do it on two surfaces. Um, I, can, I can extrude, I can make a hole par partially through, if I wish. Like that. See, it stopped. Uh, let, ooh, can I do this? Yeah, I can even make that. That hole goes through. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so much fun. I'm going to take this and make it go all the way through the... Oh my word, look at that. This is so much fun, right? Let's make it just stop. Oh! <laughs> now it's an extrusion. No, I've done... Oh man, I've done something crazy. Black, right? I just did undo. Undo that. Oh, I deleted. That's what I was doing, trying to do here. Let's select it again and draw a hole. I can take and just, I can, again, I can only do it perpendicular to the surface that I've selected. But, 
I can also rotate this object uh, right here. I can rotate it about a user-defined axis, like x-axis, y-axis, z-axis. I can extrude an object. Let's say I wanted to extrude this. Let's get this back in the proper orientation here. So, yes, this is the front. The right side is up, left, yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I want to extrude this, let's go uh, x delta 30. Okay, now I could extrude this surface. say a Z delta of 30. Now I've got a really wild looking object. Polyline Solids Man version X12 of Chief Architect Premier. A lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this fun little uh, tidbit today. Have a wonderful week.